And, and I believe um, that the, the engine has been a particular, um, or has a particular story with, with this car. And in fact, the, um, it, it ran an automobile engine for, for a period of time. Yeah, it was a works car, um, 65, 66, and 67, with a lovely history throughout. And then it ended up in the States uh, with an automobile V8. So um, fortunately, the owner not only acquired um, Jimmy's championship car, we also acquired the requisite engine and gearbox along the way. Um, and um, it just happens to be exactly what's required now that he's taken the decision um, that 40 years on, it's time for the car to, to ABC again, um, but also to be restored and run. So when, when are we going to see it run? What do you reckon, Bob? A couple of months? <laughs> when are we going to see the car run again? In due course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Typical answer, that is. There's no time or day from it. No, there's no rush. Uh, the owner has been very particular in that respect. Um, he wants it to happen in a natural manner um, in the classic Team Lotus workshops up at Hethel. And obviously the engine is a major issue. I probably shouldn't say this. I don't want the, the, the owner to know that it might not take that long to actually do the restoration because it's all there. Um, it, when we put the car together, it came to us in pieces as it had been for 40 years with the parts wrapped up in um, Seattle Post newspaper dated 1978. We put it together and it was all there, every, every last nut, washer and bolt, which is pretty exceptional because whenever we take a car apart at Classic Team Motors, people like Bob immediately start robbing bits off it to put on other cars. Um, but fortunately that didn't happen. No coming. Um, so from that point of view, um, you know, preservation is, is the key thing. Um, to have the car running again, but to preserve the, the time warp aspect that is so unique. Um, and um, the actual mechanical side, the engine and the gearbox is probably more challenging. Um, and we will be ready when the engine. I've said to the owner, when the engine's ready, we'll be ready. And uh, within the next year or so, um, hopefully the owner will want to take it to one of the wonderful meetings that exist now to let people see it.